probably one of, of, of uh, our best experiences uh, as far as like, you know, celebrating time that has passed for sure. And, um, you know, it, it, it's weird. You know, when we brought, when we brought uh, a Ron McGuffney and Dave Mustaine on to play, you know, yeah. those shows, something happened and it really just improved our relationship with those guys tremendously, especially with Dave. After those shows, Dave... Dave's whole attitude toward us just fucking turned around. Something happened, and just uh, our relationship with him just completely, totally changed and got much, much better. And, you know, I think what had happened was he, he actually found some closure by coming up on stage and playing with us. And I remember my attitude was, Dave, play whatever you want, man. If you want to take all the fucking solos, you know, I'll play rhythm guitar. It's no big deal to me. And I remember him looking at me going, he's just like, he was, he was just like looking at me going, okay, but I can tell that was not what he was expecting to hear from me. Right, you know? right. And, and, when we actually played, and I, I, I remember just like standing next to him, going up to him, like he's like ripping a solo and I'm like playing. It was a moment for the both of us. And all of a sudden, all that shit, all that fucking bad vibes, all that schism, all that shit talking didn't even fucking matter anymore. It didn't fucking matter anymore. And, you know, as a result of it, I, I mean, we're all friends still. That's wild, man. <laughs> I mean, from that point on, you know, we're, we went on to do the big four. The big four, you know, dude. And that, and that was, you know, a great thing, you know, for as far as all of us just kind of like bonding. Yeah. And it kind of really fucking established and really just like vindicated all of us as just people who just love this fucking music and had a passion for playing it. And took that passion everywhere we went, you know?